What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 scariest creatures caught on camera. Now there's been a lot of really creepy stuff caught on video and I thought you guys would enjoy a countdown of the scariest creatures so if you do go on to enjoy this make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we could smash 5,000 likes on this video and if we can get that I'll do my best to post the scariest moments on Twitch sometime soon but with that said let's get right into it. Number 5. Okay, so let's be honest real quick, there's nothing creepier than a low quality YouTube clip, especially one shot in night vision from way back in 2008. In fact, this one might be scarier than normal because everyone can agree that there's definitely something out in the dark, but no one can actually agree what it is. Anyways though, everything starts when the two guys decide to walk through the woods at night and they hear a weird rustling noise in the grass. Now if that was me, I would have gone straight in the opposite direction, but they decide to walk towards it, which turns out to be an absolutely terrible idea. Lying in the grass is a weird pale creature with a huge head and human-like features. From what you can see, it obviously doesn't want to be seen though, because just as the guys get close enough to see its face, it opens its eyes to look at them. The next thing we see are the guys running for their lives through the grass, trying to get away from whatever was chasing them. Anyways, after scrolling through the comments for like 10 minutes, some people have claimed it's a fallen angel that lost its wings, while others think it's the legendary Chupacabra. The most popular idea, however, seems to be that it's actually a rake, but if you ask me, what really matters is that it's downright terrifying. Number 4. What do you do if you're driving down a dark country road and you see a creepy woman in a long white dress shuffling towards you? Well, if you said drive away as fast as you possibly can, congratulations, you're smarter than the guys in this video. Basically, the two men had apparently heard reports of a monster in the area, so they had the crazy idea to track it down. The good news is they definitely found what they were looking for, but things didn't go exactly how they expected. I mean, to be honest, at first the creature looks kind of harmless, in fact it almost looks like it needs help. Like in the video, you can see it's limping along as if it's in pain, and it seems to be trying to get the people in the car to save it. With that said, the closer it gets, the more it looks like something is really wrong, and that's confirmed when they try to drive away. Instead of just falling at a distance and watching them, the creature runs as fast as it can towards them, almost like it's about to dive on the car. I mean, I have to admit, this video is literally nightmare fuel, and evidence that if you ever see something terrifying by the side of the road, it's probably best to leave it alone instead of just trying to hunt it down. Reverse, reverse. Number 3. There's a reason that so many sci-fi and horror movies use sea creatures as inspiration and that's because we actually know more about space than we do about our own seas. Like so much of the ocean is unexplored that we basically know next to nothing about what lives there and judging by this next creature that might actually be a good thing. Like seriously, forget Jaws, these giant squids might be the scariest thing you could ever run into at the beach and they live in almost every ocean in the world. The Magna Pinna squid floats at around 2 to 3 kilometers underwater and they're basically the closest thing we have to an alien on earth. Even crazier, we know pretty much nothing about them because only around 12 have ever been photographed or recorded. 
However, what we do know is that their tentacles can reach 23 feet long, and since we haven't been able to properly study them, they could easily reach even longer. Honestly, I don't know about you, but sometimes I think the deep sea is better off unexplored because invading the homes of these giant monsters seem like a horror movie waiting to happen in real life. Number two. So most legends about giant creatures living in lakes are kind of harmless, and some of them are even so ridiculous it's funny. However, the Iceland worm monster isn't like your water horse or friendly Scottish Loch Ness monster, and said it's the kind of thing you probably want to avoid at all costs. To give some context, the creature is meant to be around 200 feet long, which is the same length as a soccer field, but some even say it's as long as the lake it lives in. Not only that, but it was seen for the first time in 1345 and was last seen in 2012, so either it could live for over 700 years or there's a whole family swimming around on the surface. Either way, to be honest, I'm not sure which could be worse, as both options seem scary as hell. Now as for how it looks, if you decide to go searching for it, it shouldn't be hard to spot, as it's said to look like a giant snake covered in humps. With that said though, if you decide to spend your weekend monster hunting, I would recommend investing in a good pair of binoculars and staying as far away from the water as you can, because these are terrifying. Number 1. Everyone knows Bigfoot might be the most famous mysterious creature of all time, and a lot of pop culture makes him seem almost kinda cool. However, watching this video, he really doesn't look like someone you would want to be friends with. Like, not only is he strong enough to kill pretty much anyone with his bare hands, but some reports say he has glowing red eyes and stands about 7 feet tall. As if that wasn't enough though, he apparently carries around with him some sort of glowing orb, and absolutely no one knows what it does. So like I said, Bigfoot is pretty famous for being an urban legend, so there's still a ton of doubt over whether he's actually real or not. With that said, the footage in this video is actually pretty difficult to prove wrong because of his huge limbs and the way his face contorts when he's seen. According to most experts, it's almost impossible for this to be a mask or a costume because it would be way too big, heavy, and able to move in the way it does. Even so, I'm not completely convinced, but I'd really love to hear your thoughts about whether you think this is real in the comments below. As far as the Chupacabra, Bigfoot, and Angels go, do you believe in this stuff or not? Like I said earlier, let's try to get a conversation going about that in the comments. What was that? And there's our video on the top 5 scariest creatures caught on camera. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to see whenever you upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or tops on idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.